Hello, I'm Noah Benzing with Drunk Tank Oddity. And today we're going to try both an old and a new number. Um, I'm sure you guys might remember this. The Euroboro Stout. Pretty good stuff, man. It's 8.5% uh, alcohol. It's like death in a can, basically. But, um, you know... <sighs> oh, shit. I'd like to get back to basics here. And talking about some of the things that um, over the years have uh, accumulated and turned into this drunken mess. Um, namely, I'd like to uh, give a little shout out to Jimmy Peak. Um, I'm glad you, uh, you're doing okay over there, down there in Waco. They always, I think, you know, they needed a new Waco down there. And they, they sure got it. So, however you want to look at it, I guess that's a good thing for you, right? And, um, as for uh, the rest of us in the natural beer drinking world, um, this is going to make me really drunk. Yes, it is. Your Boro Stout is known for its, for its, uh, well, let me just read it to you. Aphrodic, robust, and arcane. Stout, a style continually renewing itself in new forms and reborn here as a Belgian inspired creation. Roasted in chocolate malts, dark candy sugar, oak spirals, and Belgian yeast. Circle and harmonious union. So at 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Pairs well with hummus, grass-fed beef, aged cheddar, and dark chocolate. Well, good for them, right? Hmm. Uh, look at that shit. Coming out of that can like that. Mm. Scrumptious. Smells like chocolate. A little bit like chocolate. Hell, it might even have some chocolate in it. I don't know. But, uh... It's gonna go down. Once the head kind of simmers down a little bit. Right now it's about to overflow into my bed. It's barely, barely cutting it right there, man. So, i got my passport here, you know. <clears throat> I'm kind of looking at, it, looking at it this morning. Got, look at all these places I've been, you know, I've been in uh, Korea, China, Japan, um, have my other passport, says I've been to Serbia and Switzerland. Mm. It's the most expensive passport ever, because I had to like buy it two or three times. Seriously. Mm. All right, let's get the rest of this in there. Filthy bastard. So we're going to try to drink this and be happy about it. I think I'll take the last sip off the can here. Why not? Whoa. God damn. That's not bad though. You know, $6.99. $6.99 gets you uh, four 12 ounce cans at 8.5%. And it's real fucking beer, dude. It's not some bullshit. I mean, it might seem a little tacky to drink it out of a big Maxwell House coffee mug, but you know, that's a fucking beer stein right there, buddy. You know what I mean? So, cheers to the Obama queers. All right. I'm going to wait it up a little bit on it. I'm still reading my book. It's right here. <clears throat> Alien, Sea of Sorrows. And like right now, you know, it's, uh, it's progressing very well. Kind of reminds me of um, Colonial Marines a little bit, but um, here's Herman. He's he's tired. He's sleeping. He got him some new food. This is his favorite stuff right here. The turtle sticks. He you know, the turtle sticks. He likes them. Mm. Uh, I try to do a good job for the company, but these turtle sticks, I suck dick. <laughs> oh, looks like my uh. 
my brew here is about ready to drink. It's kind of poking down there, isn't it? A little bit by little bit. I stick my finger in there. Mmm. Look at that. God damn. Alright. I think I just drink mostly foam. <sighs> Try this again. <sighs> 